Hi, so I'm here with Nava Diane, and I've been hearing a lot about the microbiome at this conference, the skin microbiome. I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about where that's at right now in cosmetics. We really at the um, at the beginning of unraveling the importance of the skin microbiome, okay. in health and disease. One aspect is that there is high diversity between individuals in the skin microbiome. Unlike our own DNA, in right. which we're very very similar, there is higher diversity in the microbiome. So okay, so you could have one patch of microbes here that are very different from somewhere else in the body. Is that not only that? Okay. You and I can be very healthy but have very different microbiome oh, interesting. So, so it'd be hard to find a one solution for everybody potentially. That's First challenge. Okay. <laughs> exactly. All right. Um, another challenge is that it changes. Okay. And, and we don't know yet how it changes. When a baby is born, he's born without biota on the skin. Oh my God, so that's incredible. Acquires it, that's right, and he acquires it from the environment. So the microbiome may change uh, in the first few uh, months after right. birth. It can change during puberty, and it may change also when we become older. That's so, really fascinating. Fascinating. I had no idea that our microbiome changed with the environment. So. Well, it's pretty stable, but there yeah. are some elements that change dramatically uh, okay. during our lifespan, and that's something that different companies and different entities are trying to figure out and see how we can work with the microbiome and actually uh, understand how it changes uh, and what role. Uh, the microbiome plays in our health. Right. It's a bit confusing also to consumers from what I have seen because there are there is the dual message. Okay. On one hand, there is the major industry of probiotics right. that tells consumer it's good to ingest the good bacteria. Okay. There's a lot of research about this. Right. Yeah, I would say and that's the, definitely in the consumer mindset right now. Exactly. That's good. And, and there, there, there is another message that mm -hmm. says bacteria are not good for you. You need to cleanse the skin and you need to eliminate 99.9% .9 of the bacteria on your right, skin. Right. Right. But is it the same bacteria? Is it, uh, you know, what what is what is the difference here in mm -hmm. how to digest this message and right. in the mind of the consumer? That's something that we're still working on. Thank you so much for your time. This Thank has you. been great. Thank You're just you. full of knowledge. Can I mention one more thing? Yes, please do. <laughs> I just want to say that uh, I'm right now planning uh, a session uh, okay. at In Cosmetics Paris Ooh, that is going nice. to be on the skin microbiome. It's going to be a fairly large uh, okay. session. And I already have outlined, uh, I, I have a lineup of speakers right. that are going to take on some, uh, talk about some of the aspects that I just mentioned. Yes. And uh, hope to see you there also. <laughs> oh, I hope to be there. This is really exciting. Uh, this is something that's on the forefront of cosmetics right now. It's really great to hear about it while people are still working it on it and researching, researching it. And I can't wait to find out more. Thank you so much. All right. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye.